We all know game development can be quite difficult. Huh? Yeah. Now just imagine adding virtual reality on top of that. No wonder I faced a bit of a burnout with my own project, Round of Robots. So, in this video I'll give you three examples of things that almost made me quit game development and of course, how I overcame them. So, let's get right into it. <laughs> ah yes, a classic, but for me it was not necessarily about striving for the perfect end result, but more so the indecision that comes from trying to reach that. For example, I added a yo-yo to my VR game. It allowed for more movement, it was well received and fun to use. But on the other hand, this will go against a more grounded feel, that's a layer of vertical level design I had to worry about, and the mechanic itself was rather hard to develop. Now, my pitfall was that I could go on thinking of reasons forever why either side could be the correct choice. This turned development into a vicious cycle of never really committing to anything. That in harsh comparison to going down a checklist and neatly making progress. And my solution for this problem is to just pick something. Just, just do, do it. it! And roll with it for a while. Don't see it as a permanent choice just yet. I know, ironic, but at least you're now committing to something and making progress. So, trust your design instincts and commit. Hear me out. Imagine your favorite game. The game you love the most. Now imagine playing through that game from start to finish. 10,000 10, times, 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 times. 10, we game developers have to test and test a game so many times that at a certain point, I wasn't even sure if the base game even felt fun to play. Is it fun to skate around? Is it fun to do tricks? Which makes it very tempting to start changing, well, everything. Constantly tweaking and adding new mechanics to your game. Just to make it feel fresh. Just to make it exciting again. But soon that feeling once again fades. And now you're back to programming a bunch of new useless features. Just to feel a little bit excited again while developing the game. I think one of the easiest solutions here is just to play test. See other people play with the mechanics that you thought were dull by now. See them have a smile on their face. It's just really hard to judge something you have worked on every single day. So let others do that for you. Why do anything else if every minute spent on Ralph Robots gets me closer to being rich, I mean finishing the game for everyone to enjoy. Okay, just kidding, but it's a statement that does feel true. If I work on it more, I'll get it completed faster, right? Well, not quite. Creativity is a limited resource. If I overdo it today, I will definitely feel it tomorrow. It's like going to the gym and then going so hard that it completely messes up your arms for the next two weeks. Yeah, we've all been there. And you might set a new personal record, but it's not exactly efficient in the long run. With that in mind, taking time off the project actually feels productive, as you're recharging your battery to go at it again tomorrow. So, take some time off and don't let the entire project consume your life. Game development should be fun, not a chore, not something to be stressed about. Alright, so those were some of my own experiences, and I hope they can help you out too. There is still plenty to talk about, so leave a comment down below, and I might cover your topic in the next video. Also, if you're interested in my project, Ramen for Robots, and if you want to play it as soon as possible, you can support me on Ko-Fi. Yeah! Even just 3 euros a month already makes a huge difference in how fast you get to play the full game. So. Thank you for your support. You can also join the Discord, link down below, if you want to sign up for playtesting. And if you want to know more about the process behind creating Round of Robots, 
I put all of my devlogs in this neat little playlist over here, just for you. So, go on, watch them. Anyway, that's it for now. Make sure to like, subscribe, that kind of stuff. And see you all next time. Peace.